Hello everyone. One of the major challenges for the aviation industry now and over the next 10 years is the demand and capacity challenge. Air Services is working closely with all segments of industry in meeting this challenge and we're undertaking a number of initiatives that together with industry will lead to world leading industry performance. The Metron flow tool is one of those initiatives that focuses on the demand side of the challenge by managing air traffic flows more efficiently into an airport. So what is Metron? Metron provides the ability to better identify demand and capacity imbalances, both at airports and in airspace volumes. Where imbalances are identified, Metron will begin rescheduling flights to reduce airborne holding. If the arrival demand of scheduled flights exceeds the available airport arrival capacity, the system realigns scheduled demand with the planned airport capacity. Where demand does exceed capacity, the rationale behind the system is that delay is taken on the ground rather than in the air. Let's now look at how Metron works on a day-to-day -day basis. Prior to the day of operations, all airline operators operating into the airport running Metron provide their schedule by uploading it to the Metron traffic flow system. Air Traffic Control assesses the available arrival capacity of the airport for the following day based on the predicted weather and infrastructure. Here in the National Operations Centre in Canberra, a ground delay program is run for the airport using schedule information from the airlines which realigns the arrival demand to the planned arrival capacity at the airport. The scheduled information from the ground delay program is then accessed by the relevant airline operators through a direct interface with Metron, who follow their internal processes to reschedule flights as required. Metron has several functions which enable airline operators to manage their allocated ground delay. It also has a function which enables real-time management of their calculated off-blocks times to manage their day-to-day -day operating pressures. Metron also has a function which automatically swaps airline flights where one operator has indicated delay to a flight. In other words, it can't meet its calculated off-blocks time. The value of this function is that it will minimise ground delay, but it is dependent on operators to ensure Metron data is kept up to date. The NOC continually monitors the ground delay program and weather forecasts with the objective of amending the program in real time as the situation changes. The output of the realigned scheduled information is essentially a plan for the airport. For the plan to be successful, a high level of compliance with the Metron program is required. We're working with industry to encourage and improve compliance rates with the Metron program, as well as working with smaller operators to get greater benefit from the system. The Metron flow tool has already started to deliver significant benefits to industry. For example, the sector time between Melbourne and Sydney, the fifth busiest city pair in the world, has reduced by five minutes, and during morning peak period into Sydney, when the compliance rate is above 90%, airborne holding reduces from the average of five and a half minutes to 96 seconds. However, there is more that can be achieved, and more work with industry to improve the tool and maximise the benefits for all users and all airports that run Metron. The Metron flow tool is just one of a number of initiatives that we're implementing to successfully manage the demand and capacity challenge and together with industry deliver world leading industry performance.